hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be reviewing this beautiful ombre wig that i received from hermosa hair this is their 13 by 6 hd lace front wig it's 26 inches long and 180 percent density prior to filming i did go in with my foundation and i applied it to my lace so that the lace can mesh well with my skin tone also, this wig is big head friendly. I was able to really adjust the wig cap onto my head to my liking. So first things first, I'm going to pin each side back, just moving the hair out of the way, then cut my lace into three sections, but you can't forget to cut the ear tabs off on each side of the lace. So that is what I'm doing. And you wanna make sure that when you're cutting the ear tabs off, you're not cutting it too high up, but you want it to fit comfortably around your ear. To install my wig today, I'm going in with my Bold Hold Active Lace Glue, and I'm gonna apply a decent, generous amount of glue and just evenly apply that glue onto the area. Now it's time to go in with the blow dryer, and I'm blow drying on a medium heat setting. Once you feel that the glue is tacky and it starts getting clear, that's when you want to go in and take your lace and lay the lace down. So I switched to the Eben Firm Hold Spray for the rest of this install because I knew that I wasn't going to keep this wig on for too long and I just feel like this adhesive spray stays on just long enough but not for too long. I'm using my blow dryer on a medium heat setting to dry the adhesive spray and make sure that the wig is secured down. Now I'm going in with my elastic band and then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting. And I love this combo because this really helps to really make sure that the wig is secured down and it just gives the wig a more melted look. It's time to cut our lace off. I'm going in with my razor to cut the lace and I'm gonna cut as close to the hairline as possible. I feel like using a razor really gives the hairline more of a natural look to it. back in with the even firm hold spray to relay all of the areas that did not fully glue down and this really helps because it just helps the hairline to look more natural really it just takes away that lifted look that white cast look as well <music> with my Ruby Kisses cream foundation in the color level 15 and this foundation really meshes so well with my skin tone I love it it really helps to make the lace look super duper natural for this wig I will be doing a middle part style and as I was parting it I noticed how deep this parting space is and I just love that. I love a deep part of space. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kara Care Wax Stick and lay down these flyaways. I feel like on blonde hair, you're always going to get flyaways. It's like annoying, but we're gonna fix that with this lay down. I'm going in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting in a brush, and I'm just gonna brush the hair down. And this really helps to get that nice flat foundation on your wig and this will also help to flatten down those flyaways as well
hairs out. And when I put my baby hairs out, I like to pull it out in like a C shape because it just gives off like that little widow's peak look, which is so cute to me. Now I'm gonna go in and pluck my baby hairs to get that natural baby hair look because I don't want my baby hairs to be too dramatic or too thick. So we're just gonna go in and just keep plucking. my razor to cut my baby hairs off in like a slanted direction and you can also use scissors for this process as well I'm going in with my edge flat iron and I'm gonna curl my baby hairs just so that I can get that fluffy baby hair look with my hot comb and I'm using this on the 450 setting which is the highest setting on the hot comb and I'm just gonna go through the top of this wig and really make sure that the foundation of this wig is completely flat I'm going in with my got to be high insta hold spray and I'm gonna apply that directly onto the brush then onto the edges I'm also going in with some mousse to help swoop and lay my edges as well my Revlon flat iron to straighten this wig and I'm really just going for a sleek straight ombre look
When it comes to enhancing my parting space with blonde wigs, I like to always go a shade darker than my typical foundation shade. I prefer it that way because it really just helps to bring out the parting space on my skin tone when it comes to blonde wigs. Okay, y'all, so here is the final look of this wig. And I honestly don't have anything negative to say about this wig. From the color, like just look at the ombre. Look at how soft this wig look. Like even just with me rubbing my hands through it, it's just gliding right through. Like you cannot beat that, especially with a blonde wig. Especially with a blonde ombre wig at that. The density of this wig was perfect. It wasn't too thick, but it also was not thin at all. And I love that. I also love how deep the parting space is. You cannot go wrong with a deep parting space, seriously. If you really want that all eyes on you, main character energy type of vibe, you want to go and get this wig. This wig will definitely do that for you. Overall, I was very satisfied with this unit and I did receive a lot of compliments on this hair, so that's always a plus. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.